west I'll slide into here beautiful now that metal door up on the right is my preferred exit from the mission but I'm getting ahead of myself let's clear this office first because it's a nice safe room once you get inside and nothing can relock it so on the desk two silver coins and two journals Davel, you were quite shrewd my good colleague one item your scheme did not cover which of us shall replace Moro as master banker for this I have an intriguing answer one that guarantees an increase in pay for us both we make a pact now that no matter which of us is selected as master banker by the plan you outlined we combine our mutual salaries after the promotion and each gets an equal share by my calculations this will leave us both with over twice what we are now earning what say you sir Flemian Davel, I'm sure you've heard the news that Tyler's physician diagnosed his ailment as fatal, predicting not more than three months of life remaining. The question on both of our minds is surely the same. Who shall replace him as Master Banker? And perhaps you have come to the same conclusion, that his nephew Moro will have unfair precedent over us for that position. For the better of First City Bank and Trust, and our own wallets, I suggest that we somehow eliminate Morrow as competition. Then between the two of us may the best banker be selected. Perhaps we can slander his good name in some way. What are your thoughts, Flemian? And then you'll want to pick this open too. It's got more coins in it. Bring our total to 1,063. That sound means the archer is out of this room, so... This isn't that hard. You just have to be fast. Wait until the archer's out of this room. Wait till the watcher is turning away. And then... Book it up here. Jump over the chair. Crouch down. And you're fine. Why did we do that, you ask? Well, we're going to wait for the archer to come in and leave again. But you see across from me there a vase. Don't worry, we'll get his arrows. Now that he's gone, wait until the art watcher is turned again. And slip out over here and get the vase. Brings our total to 1113. Same idea here, although I'm not sure how much time I have now. But when it turns away, I'm going to jump the chair, run up, and try to get out the door on the right. Would have worked. Would have worked. But got stuck on the door. Oh well. Now I might have to wait for the archer to come back and leave again. We'll see. Jump. Jump. Out. Into this darkness. And we're good. So now, before I do anything else, I want to get his arrows. That'll be our 11th pickpocket out of 18. If 
find the best spot to wait. It's probably over here. So he's going to come out of that big office, head into the bar, then he's going to pass by this corner on his way back around. There he is on his way into the bar. Let's do a real save here, just in case I run into an unanticipated problem with this plan. He's on his way over. Should be able to lean forward and get his arrows. Wonderful. That is our 11th of 18 pickpockets. Let's keep going. Let's do this room first. There's another one that you just have to pick open, can't relock. Shut it behind you. Bring the crate over. Hop aboard. There are nine stacks of gold coins and a purse in the top shelf, bring our total to 1183. There are ten more stacks of copper coins in the bottom shelf, bringing our total to 1233. And then, of course, put the crate back where we found it. Then, I'm going to wait for him to move through the meeting hall, which he does, and follow him through the door he goes in. So we're in this room right now, and we're looking, this, we're looking into this room. We want to get into the meeting hall because there's some loot in here. So He's going to head into the hall. Time for them be right. I moved a little too fast. We have to move pretty quickly, but we should be able to get across this tile. Head into the meeting hall. We were up there earlier, you might remember. And then, as we head north, just be wary of one of the little blind guys, don't make any noise. Go behind this bar. Moss arrows if you want them. And two purple goblets. Total now 1263. So what I'm going to do... Let me see now. Okay, yeah, that's what I thought. Yes, that's good. Okay. I know what I'm doing now. Let's follow the route the guard took. Head out these doors. And 
through this one. Hope we don't run into the archer as we head this way. And let's creep down this hallway. There's one more piece of loot to get before we kind of sort of approach the lobby. Let's wait for the archer to get clear. You might recognize the central staircase room. We're on the other side of it. What's there? We need to get through there, timed so that we don't run into any humans. So obviously I have to wait for that swordsman to come out of there. See if we can get in behind him. Now you need to get into this room where there is a good shadow here. We came all the way here just to pick open this safe. has a purse inside, brings our total to 1338. Now we need to just get back the way we came. Wait here for the archer to get clear again. <clears throat> oh, we can head back to the bar. back into this room. Get back here. And this, I think, is a good place for a real save because we're going to tackle the two rooms to the north of the lobby now. They can be tough. So what we're going to do first is wait for the Iron Beast to patrol in here and leave. You see him there. We want to follow him into the room to the north and pray that we don't run into any humans. We just kind of have to keep repeating this move until we find that room clear. Swing to the right. Have to do have to do it faster than that. But not that fast. <sighs> so 
floor it over here and you're safe. But you don't really want to stay here. You want to get over to this shadow. This is a good base of operations for this room. When the room is empty, run over here and get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces of loot. Brings your total to 1373 and just get back here and wait. Then in this shelf, there are four more. One, two, three, four. Total 1413, and then two on the desk, total 1450. This room is clear. So I like to get back to this shadow while he's out there, and then get in behind him to get back into that office. This is a great shadow to hide in. With all that done, there are four safes you can pick open. The one on the right, as you face west, just has a healing potion in it, but the other three have loot. So I'm going to make one foray every time he leaves. The first thing I'm going to do is run across to the desk and grab the coins off there and do some reading. Then come back here. Ready to go. One, two, total fourteen sixty. All clerks, please refrain from addressing clients by name. Some clients have expressed nervousness that they are known personally, that the details of their finances are available to someone who would recognize them on the street. We must make a point of deliberate impersonality in all our dealings with clients. Well, that's kind of sad. But Get back to the shadow. Now, sometimes a swordsman comes through here. If he bumps into you, he'll first alert, but you can see him well in advance and you can avoid the bump by moving out to the carpet where the hall widens and hiding in one of the corners. Next, I'm gonna go for the safe across the way to the left. Total 1535. Back to the hiding spot. Next, I'm going to go for the safe close to me on the left. Brings the total to 1685. Failed at the creep there, but the last step should be obvious. The 
Safe close to me on the right. When I say the last step, that will clear this room. Brings the total to 1710, back to the same hiding spot. Next, we want to go to the door all the way across this office and get through it. Only a couple of things to do in here. That guy just, that robot, just hikes a little circle around the fountain. So you don't have to worry too much about him. But we want this vase from this table. Brings our total to 1760. And there's also a pickpocket that I'm just going to take a minute to find. And then I'll figure out how to sneak up on it. Here's the Great Hall. Okay, he doesn't have it. What's that? All right, Quit I hear you. With me, guys. Come out in the open at once. Damn it! How'd you get in oh, here? Strange noises. It's no way. Ah! Ah! All right, well, the guard room is too far off. All right, where are you? In here? No. No. It's a on, swordsman in purple with a key. I know I ran into him last time. It's fun, huh? Ah! Where, where is he? I could have sworn he was around here somewhere. Sorry, folks. I need to track this pickpocket down. Hello? Ah! How'd you get in here? After him! Sound like Barry Burton. Stop at once! Ah! Put your hands up! Get him! Look there. I know oh, that the pin's here over here! None of them. I'll see your bones! That's it! Let's get him, you can't die, Topper! Let me take an alternative path just to make sure I'm not miscounting. What? 
Okay, something is seriously crazy in this mission. When I did my practice run, there was another guard with another pickpocket, but along with the watcher on the third floor, he's just been deleted off the map. How weird. But that means I have nothing to worry about. So, we let me amend what I said. We have 11 out of 17 pickpockets. And we're set to move on. We're actually getting close to the end now. Although we do lose a lot of time backtracking all the way to the third floor to turn the lobby cameras back on for Supreme, but you know, it is what it is. When I did my practice run, the total said 18 out of 19. And there was a swordsman here on the first floor with another silver key, but he appears to have been deleted. And we've added a guard in the basement who didn't have a key. We've added a watcher in the bar on the second floor, and we lost a watcher on the third floor. Go figure. So, you want to move fast out here, even though it's tiled. There are nine stacks of coins down here. You want to get them all, and then get back against this wall. Someone there? Okay, we got a first alert. I don't know which side it came from, but the issue is the robot's not much of an issue. But there are balconies on either side that are the end points for patrollers. They can't hear you unless they're on the balconies, which is nice, but they'll see you in first alert, so let's move fast. So when you get all nine, that brings my total to 18.05. You see a guy up there on the left. I think if I freeze, he won't first alert. I give thanks for my arms and them I make the world less wretched. If there's danger, behold the work that I do for thee. No first alerts from anybody. The one on the left starts out unlocked, so get out that way, and head to the west. <coughs> Valued customers, to visit your safety deposit box, please proceed to the vault. Now someone else is on the balcony right above us. Lobby. So I'm going to pause and make sure there aren't any first alert settling comments. Sounds like we're good. So, creep across this floor here. Make sure to grab this vase. Brings the total to 1880. Slip through here. Oh, well, this is good. When I did my practice run, one of the little robots was parked right by the turret, which meant I couldn't handle the watcher as well as I'll be able to now. Three coins on the desk. Bring the total to 1892. And you want to just get under the watcher. You want to break right here get to this shadow so that nothing the guard on the other side of that window doesn't spot you there's the little fella he was stuck last time so this is a great place to pick his pocket for both the key and the arrows that's 12 and 13 out of 17 then drop the key on his route Follow him through. Uh, 
under here is a great shadow for a real save, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to tackle this. First thing you've got to do is kind of wait for the area to clear, pay attention to the watcher, and get some coins that are sitting right out in the middle of the walkway. Okay, he's coming back this way. So, depending which way he decides to move, we might have to wait him out in the shadow under the stairs, or he might go out into the camera room. We'll just have to see. I know where the four remaining pickpockets are, which is good. Okay, he's coming back here. And he heard me shut the door. So, I think he's gonna head off toward the vault. Yes. <sighs> now we should be able to just... I was gonna say just be careful of the Watcher. And <sighs> nab those coins. So get those. They're only worth two. They bring the total to 1894. Then I'm gonna go ahead and take care of this. You wanna manage to mantle into this window. Silence is golden. And then creep up here. And you can pick open this door, which you'll have to do. then don't rush right in for several reasons. The first are the pressure plates right in front of the door. So make sure you hug the door on your way in. And then, this is a good spot to peek out there. There are two iron beasts and the archer from earlier patrol around out there. So when no one is facing the window, we can get across it to the door, or to the desk. Now that's interesting. In my practice run, okay, there he goes. I was gonna say, both of them patrolled, and then he moved. So on the desk are some gold coins, bring the total to 1919, and a red key, which we're gonna need. Wow, the, the Iron Beast saw us well enough to first alert, so we'll wait till he's gone. Get these two vases. Bring the total to 2,069. Get out again without tripping the pressure plates. Get over here. Lock the door with the red key. And now I'm going to go for the pickpocket I missed. Which, if you hadn't guessed, are the arrows on that archer you just saw through this grating. I think this is actually a way out. Let me see. Oh, yes. That's a better way out than the one I used. So we're going to use it this time, as soon as we're done. We can open this grating. We can wait right here for the archer to come back. Which he will promise. There he is. There's our 14th pickpocket.
That's one thing I sh should have thought of earlier. That I'm gonna go do now. Okay, he's coming up here, so. Is that you? I was gonna say, let's. I don't think he can hear us. Even though he can easily see Even though he can easily see us, so. Move over here. Wait for the staircase to clear. should be good to silently ascend and mantle down the stairs. Careful of the watcher. Well, that was bad. Actually, maybe I can just drop down to the first level from here. <coughs> Probably can. That way, don't even have to worry <coughs> about the watcher. If Garrett would just do the slide. There we go. I should have done this earlier. I just, you know, forgot about it. But... Before you trigger the conversation in the guard room, you want to come over here, oops, and just uh, peek around the corner and pickpocket his silver key. Which you can only do while he's facing this way. And leave it as close as you can get, and then head back, all the way back. Upstairs. This time, let's take our red key and use it to get out this door. Buddy, better be. Okay, we'll have to wait just a bit for the archer to patrol away. Uh, you get the idea. Relock that. We're just going after a little more loot and pickpockets before we finally go after the vault. So that was our 15th of 17 pickpockets. There are two left. Okay, yeah, I don't want to mess with this room, actually. Or not this door, rather. I've got my bearings now, don't worry. Yes, back here is a door we couldn't open until we got the red key. So we'll just slide under that watcher as we have an opportunity to do so. Get under this guy. There are just a couple of notebooks to read, so I'll dart out and do that as I have opportunities. Uh, 
assuming Garrett responds when I ask him to read. Flemian, surely you are being facetious when you say that Moro has a good name. I don't doubt that given leave, Tyler would select his nephew as the next master banker, but it is not just you and I who realize that he has the aptitude of a frog. I cannot count the number of times I've overheard a clerk joking at some foolish remark Moro has made. The idea that one of us be Master Banker instead is, of course, the right one. But your thinking is short-sighted, and I have a plan that will generate more wealth for us in the end. We will protest Moro's selection as Master Banker, not so much as to prevent it. And we will recommend that each other be selected instead. Moro will be selected as Master Banker, he will fail at that role miserably, and as dissatisfaction with him grows, so will confidence in the two of us. When they request that we replace Moro, we hold out, ostensibly out of prudence, until out of desperation, they increase the salary of the position to one and one half times what it is now. Only then will we accept. So what do you think of this idea then, Davel? Get back under it. Reading the closer one will be easier. Flemian, I think not. As you say, may the best banker be selected. Davel. Then, as it swings this way, run around this pillar, get some hard cover, then wait for it to swing away again, and then slip out the door. There we go. This is where I want it to be. So from here, first, watch the guy in purple across the way, wait for him and the yellow and purple guy to be turned away. That can take a while, unfortunately. Okay. Well, I think. Right now, I'm just trying to trigger their conversation, so... If I can get out far enough to do that... There we go. Night shift again, Amart. You piss off the master banker or what? Nah, I'd rather the night watch. It's quiet, and I don't have to bow and scrape to the customers. Let me carry your heavy, heavy gold for you, lady fat bottom. <laughs> Here, let me take some of that nasty, heavy stuff off your hands. <laughs> don't swing it. Yeah, and see the bosses aren't around to listen to us talking at night either. Now we want to slip out. I know he turns and faces the wall away from us eventually. Which I need him to do. Now see, the guy in yellow and purple has moved out into the guard room. Not very far, but enough that we couldn't reach his key from the hallway anymore, so... It's vastly preferable to have already done that pickpocket. See, now he faces the room. Right now we're going after one piece of loot and the last two pickpockets. I know he's got three directions. You. Ah, dang it. Okay, well.
I don't think the guy in purple turns farther away after all, but obviously we can maneuver up here without alerting him. Oh, good, good, good. That's what I needed. Okay. Onward. Now, just so you can get an idea what's in this room, it's the other end of that hallway. Remember that? 